In this video, I'm going to be showing you uh, two great Sigma lenses for YouTube content, especially for musicians like guitar players and bass players. I'm going to show you some really cool shots you can get with both of these. Stay tuned until the end. I have this 50 millimeter from 1978 Olympus lens that is just absolutely phenomenal for those close-up shots of uh, playing guitar and bass and stuff. So we're going to be doing some cool uh, video shots on, on bass and guitar with this. This is the 16 millimeter from Zig Sigma and this is 30, 30 millimeter from uh, Sigma. Both of these combined right here can get you some great shots and I'm going to show you uh, how to get these great shots. Alright so now we're in the uh, 16 millimeter Sigma lens. Um, ISO 160 f1.4 this is the Sigma 16 and you can as you can see it's pretty nice for this kind of angle this is the kind of angle I'm going to be shooting in this video because I really like this angle you get that nice little cool little blurry background in the back yep. which I love Canon M50 really can get that focus in on you we'll slide it from here down there and this Sigma this, this lens is super sharp for picking all that stuff up. All right, so now I'm gonna to switch to the uh, 30 millimeter Sigma. Obviously this lens can do a lot more, but I'm just showing it in this context right now. So let's move on to another lens. All right, so here now I'm on the 16 millimeter Sigma lens. Um, same settings as the other one, as the, as the 16 millimeter. F1.4, ISO is at 160. As you can tell with this lens, it's a lot closer. But you can still get that cool effect from this angle. I really like this one. Um, this is definitely good for B-roll stuff. Like taking pictures of uh, guitar amps. Uh, up close pictures of your favorite guitars and basses. Stuff like that. It also does this angle very well. Right, let's move on to uh, the Canon kit lens and see how that one can hold up. All right, now I'm on the uh, I'm on the Canon uh, kit lens. As you can see, I actually have to turn the ISO up on this, and I can only get f 3.5, so the lighting is not as good. And you can see I don't have that nice blur in the background on this kit lens. I mean, it's still. I mean, I can focus. This is a zoom lens, obviously, so I, I can uh, get. But as you can see, the lighting on this one's not as good. all the way focused in like this and when you focus in more you lose your uh, light now let's move on to um, let's move on to the secret weapon uh, lens and now we're on the old Olympus uh, vintage lens from an old film from an old OM1 film camera and this is a 50 millimeter you got to auto uh, you gotta autofocus this one yourself. I really like this one. It's really got some. Uh... The lighting is good on it. This is something cool about this lens. Yeah, this one's awesome. Real close. You can get real. This is definitely a B roll. This one, this one uh, it's got some, this old Olympus lens has got some mojo to it. Alright, cool. So there was my old Olympus lens. Let's go back to the uh, 
the 16 millimeter Sigma because I think that's what everyone's gonna click on this video for because it's like the most uh, it's a prime lens you shoot uh, headshots with it um, it's a real great lens so let's do one more of the uh, Sigma 16 all right now we're back on the 16 millimeter Sigma lens as you can see this is the widest the widest one out of all three of them and this is your go-to lens right here go in and out of focus like a champ on this thing got that nice awesome blurry background in the back this is a must this is this is a must-have lens right here same with the 30 all right let's do uh this is the 16 to move it up a little closer so you can really get that uh come on focus there we go and here was uh the kit lens not too uh okay you know not the greatest for starting out it's cool and here was my secret weapon here's an old 19 I guess it's 1978 uh, alright so cool there was a nice uh, demo of uh, all my Sigma lenses and a Canon lens and a vintage lens on this kind of view of how the guitar and how you get the focus um, obviously you can do a lot of other stuff with it um, but this is the video I chose for this kind of uh, of this kind of angle and I hope uh, it helped you out in deciding if you like these lenses until next time I'll talk to you guys later bye